It's back to school season, and that means back to school supplies. One of my favorites are crayons. They're so much fun to use, and of course, you can't forget about the jumbo packs with the built-in sharpeners. But doesn't it seem like over the years you amass way too many crayons? Don't worry, I have seven crayon hacks and DIYs to use up your stash. Our first project is one my mom taught me when I was little. How to DIY scratch art paper. Start with a blank sheet of paper and colored pencils. Use a lot of pressure to color the paper with the pencils. You can color in splotches, a design, or really however you want. The goal is just to cover the paper with pencil. Once you have colored in the size area you want, take a black or dark colored crayon and color heavily over the pencil. Once it is covered, your scratch art paper is ready. Use the back of a pencil, a toothpick, or a quarter to scratch your picture into the crayon, revealing the pencil colors underneath. This process also works if you use Sharpies instead of colored pencils. Just make sure to layer behind the paper so the markers don't bleed through to your work surface. And also, you know, I bet you didn't know that I was such an artist. Our next project is to up your coloring game by using a scratch-off technique on your coloring pages. This is something I did years ago, but I forgot about it until Echo Gillette's video popped up on my YouTube recommended page, so thank you to that channel for the reminder of this technique. It's actually really simple. Start by coloring in your picture, just color very darkly. Apply lots of pressure so that there are no white or light spots left in your picture. Once it is completely colored in, scratch the top layer of crayon off. I like to use a quarter and scrub back and forth across the crayon. This removes the top layer of crayon and reveals a smoother, more even texture underneath. When you are scratching, be careful not to rub the crayon shavings into other parts of your paper or else it will create smears. Our next project is for adults only, so find a responsible adult to help you out. If you are struggling to remove a crayon wrapper or you don't want to destroy your fingernails, use a razor blade to carefully cut a slit in the paper wrapping. Now you have an easy place to grab the paper and it peels right off. If you remove the paper but still have paper residue on the crayon, rub the residue off with your thumb. Also, apologies for filming directly into my trash can. For our next few projects, we need to melt the crayon, so start by removing the wrappers from any crayons you want to melt. I'm using glass dishes that are microwave safe, and I'm breaking the crayons into smaller pieces inside the dishes so they'll melt faster. You may note that I'm using two different crayon shades in my red ball and in my yellow ball. Feel free to experiment by melting different colors together for different results. So this first project with the melted crayons is to paint with the melted crayons. So we are going to pop the glass dish with the crayons into the microwave for anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes to melt them to a liquid. Start with a shorter time and work up to longer microwave times. Remember, the dish and crayon wax will be hot, so use caution. Only microwave it long enough to melt it. Once it is melted, use a toothpick or popsicle stick to stir with your crayons. Make sure you have an adult help you with this part. Now that we have liquid crayon wax, we can paint with it. Just dip a paintbrush in the melted wax and create a picture on your paper. I recommend taping your paper to your work surface so it doesn't slide. Once again, be blown away by my amazing artistry skills. When you are done painting, let the wax on the brush cool and then rub the bristles with your fingers to break the wax chunks off. You won't get the brush perfectly clean, but this will remove most of the larger chunks. I recommend using the brushes strictly as crayon painting brushes. Another way to paint with melted crayons is to use a lighter to soften the end of your crayon. Again, let an adult heat the crayon for you. Keep moving the flame up and down the crayon so that you don't burn the crayon and so it evenly heats up. Then, once your crayon is soft, color on your paper. This creates a thicker, more vivid result, as compared to when I color with the other end of the crayon that isn't warm. For our next project, grab a coin with a design you like. On the opposite side of your selected design, use a paintbrush to scoop some melted wax onto the coin. Also add some melted wax to the end of a crayon. Press the crayon onto the coin and keep adding wax all the way around the base of the crayon to create a secure bond. Hold the crayon upright and let the wax dry. Clean off any wax that spilled to the edges of the coin. Now you have a stamper. Next, ask an adult to drip melted crayons onto your surface. The best way is to unwrap a crayon, hold it using a pair of pliers, and use a lighter to melt the end of the crayon until it drips. Once there is enough melted crayon, take your stamper and press it into the melted crayon. 
As you will discover in a minute, I didn't apply enough pressure this first time, so make sure to press firmly so your design will stay. Let it sit while the wax cools. For me, this was about 20 seconds. Then, gently peel your stamper off the wax. If you didn't apply enough pressure the first time, just melt a little more wax onto the seal and press the stamper in more firmly. Ta-da! The second time worked better. You can make several stampers to get different designs. I really like using the quarters with the states and landmarks on them because the designs are so detailed. Now you can add an official seal to all your artwork. Our sixth idea is to make a crayon candle, but don't think you need to spend money buying a wick. Start with a clear glass candle holder, mine definitely needed more cleaning, and a birthday candle. Ask an adult to melt the bottom of the birthday candle, and then stick it upright in the middle of the glass container. Next, we need our melted crayons from earlier. Pour the melted crayon wax into the glass container. You can have that container set in an angle to create different designs, but I found this to be fairly tricky. While the first candle layer cools, melt your next crayon color. To test if the wax has cooled all the way, gently touch it with a toothpick. You can also place your candle in the fridge to cool faster between layers. Remember, the melted crayon in the dish will be hot, so use caution while doing this project and only heat the crayon enough to melt it. Pour your next color of crayon into the glass container and keep repeating until you reach the top of the wick. Now you have an inexpensive, colorful candle. I chose to burn my candle outside because my sinuses are typically irritated by candles. This will burn for a long time though and you can definitely catch that distinct crayon scent. Our last project is to make customized crayons by using a mold. You can just pour melted wax into the mold, much like we do with the candle, but I had already cleaned up my glass dishes. So another option is to use a lighter to drip the crayon into the mold. I made an adorable two-tone heart. I melted my first layer of green and added an orange layer directly on top of it. Once you complete a layer, try jiggling the mold so the crayon spreads evenly across the surface. I popped it in the fridge to cool and then my crayon was ready. Now, I was filming with one hand and popping it out of the mold with the other, so that's why it looks like I'm struggling to get it out. Also, I would recommend covering your work surface before popping your crayon out to make cleanup from any crayon shavings easier. Since some of the top edges were uneven, I scrubbed those down on a piece of paper to even them out. But now my fun personalized crayon is complete. The last thing we need to do is clean up those glass dishes. There's two easy ways to do this. First, if the wax is still soft, use a paper towel to wipe out the wax. Definitely do not dump the melted wax down your sink because it will clog your drains. Also, do not dump hot wax into your trash can because it can melt the bag and the can and just make a big mess. If your wax isn't hot, you can scrape it out of the container using a plastic spoon. Or just pop the container back in the microwave to melt the wax and wipe it out with a paper towel. Just use caution if your container gets hot. Once I've removed as much residue as possible with the paper towel method, I wash the last bit of residue off with warm water and dish soap. Before washing, the dishes were tinted crayon colors, but as you can see, washing made them perfectly clean. Which project is your favorite? I'd made a big dent in my crayon supply and I had a blast trying out these different DIYs and hacks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. Happy crafting!